Welcome back everyone to TV5 News at 9. So of course it's Black History Month and several local communities are gathering to celebrate and honor black history, including the stage play Still Emmett Till. So with us this morning, we have two cast members from the Bay City Players Performance. We have Durye Tatum and Demetria Drain. So thank you both for being here this morning. How are you? Good. good. You? I'm good. Thanks good. for being here. Yeah, we're going to talk a little bit about the upcoming performance Still Emmett Till. So Durye, for those who may not be familiar with this story, could you just give us a little bit of a brief uh, description of what it entails? Um, yes. So. Emmett Till is about a 14-year-old boy who goes to Mississippi from his hometown, Chicago, mm -hmm. to, for it to be a two-week vacation where he was accused of whistling at a white woman. Mm -hmm. And that to, pay that, to pay that price, it would end up get him, getting him killed. Okay. It's certainly a, a heavy topic for sure. And uh, why do you think, you know, being a part of this play, this performance is so important, especially for black history? Just not to let his story die and for him to be remembered. That's, for, that's great. What does it mean to you to be able to play Emmett Till? It was an honor. At first, when I first got the role of Emmett Till, I was a little nervous yeah. knowing what happened to him that my my mom had been talking to me about it but i realized after that it would be an honor for me to play this role very good yeah so demetria you play mamie till uh, that's emmett till's mother who's an activist and what about her role resonates the most with you well i know she's very strong because for her to lose her son she showed that she was a strong individual mother mm -hmm. and that she still carries her son's legacy that he's never forgotten. Was it tough to take on such important people in history, these roles? Yes. Why I say that? Because I am I don't have any children, okay. but for me to have Durie and my nephews, I look up to them because I wouldn't want them to forget who they are if that would happen to them. Yeah. And for her to be able to do the things that she was doing to let you know the world know like this is my baby, this is my son, that she wanted the legacy to continue and for him to continue to live on. Yeah. So this is uh, produced and directed by B. Wendell Parker. Um, what was it like working with him and also the rest of the crew? Anyone can answer this. Mm -hmm. Well, the crew is amazing. Okay. Um, I did this play 10 years ago, actually. Oh. So it's just like growing with the cast. It's like you get to see different people's light. But working with Wendell is an amazing. He's an amazing director. And when he wrote the play, it was letting you know, us know, like, hey, it's out here. And yeah. we're letting Emma Till be told. And playing with Durie, Durie reminds me so much of him. It's like when you look at him, you're looking at Emma Till like, wow. And it really, it touched me. Yeah. And like, wow, you can still, you know, see the resemblance and that the story will continue. Do you think uh, the audience is really gonna feel, you know, you said it's, it's a, a really strong performance and, and, and strong characters. You think they're gonna take uh, this story and, you know, share it and, and continue telling this story? I do, I do. There is, there are a lot of, hard scenes yeah. that you have to go through that tells the story of what happened, but there are a lot of other scenes that really embrace the character of Emmett Till, so I think that the audience will really get a chance to feel, feel that feel impact. It. On yeah, them. I like that. Feel that impact. That's great. So uh, in addition to this performance, there's an evening with civil rights icon Reverend Wheeler Parker Jr., last living witness of the kidnapping of Emmett Till. So is there anything you could divulge about this event? I would just say to come out and see it because it's, it's going to be an amazing show. Yeah. And for to us to have the real Wheeler Parker that was there when Emmett got kidnapped, it's a legacy, yeah. and you don't want to miss it. It's going to be an amazing play. Just make sure you come out support. It's going to be amazing. So tell us those details, where, when, all that good stuff. Um, it's in Bay City, yeah. at Bay City's Players. Uh, 
the Wheel of Parker will be there Thursday night at the Double Tree. Okay. And you will get to do a meet and greet, have dinner, and get to ask questions. And the play is Friday and Saturday at 7.30. And the tickets for adults are $21 and uh, the students are 15. Nice. So it's in Bay City at 7.30. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. So just come out and enjoy the show. You have some really eager yeah. performers here telling some great stories and important stories. So is there anything else you guys want to add to our viewers at home, maybe watching, considering? You don't have mm -hmm. to. It's just an option. <laughs> I appreciate you both coming in this morning. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yes. yes. It is my pleasure. Thank my pleasure. You. Of course, you can find more information just by going to our hot links section that's on our website at WNEM.com.